This is set number 60018, Cement Mixer from LEGO City. Ages 5 to 12, 221 pieces re uh, released in 2013 and retails for $20. Let's take a closer look at the set now, starting with the basics. Here's our box art. We have we have two minifigures in this, and if you haven't seen already, I reviewed an earlier version of the Cement Mixer from 2007. Check that out. It's in my recent videos as a comparison between the two models. This one is a modular build, so you have two different bags that have smaller bags inside of them that also have pieces for, for building the first half and then the second half of the model. And here are our bags. One little small one, one other small one. Each bag has one of each, number two, and number one. And toss those aside. We do get a sticker sheet with this. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stickers on here. Very simple setup for the stickers. Here is our one instruction booklet. And it shows you how to build this. And it shows you right in the start. The bag one builds the basic part of the model. Bag two builds more the cabin and drum area and the wheels. Bag one also includes the minifigures. So, very basic for building it. I seems a little bit larger on some pages, like this one, um, when it comes to steps. But it's still relatively sized for this kind of model, you know, to have this large book. It's not too large, but it's not too small. Here in the back we have... I'll show you back here, these 18 pieces to fit in there. You can definitely fit more than 18. Then it shows you the function for it. On the back, it shows you the cement mixer in the great vehicle section. Never mind that. And over here, it shows you all the police sets from 2013. No fire truck sets. For some reason, they don't get it. Piece count on two pages, and the wind section on the back. We get not only a couple extra pieces with this set. One of the most interesting is this extra gear. It's one of the more flat gears. Two of them are used in the set. And I kind of like how we get an extra one so you could use it for other things. We get an extra small wheel. It's the one that you use for the wheelbarrow, but you don't get an extra wheel with it. Just the tire. We get a one by one in orange, translucent orange. And we also get a translucent red one by one. We get a one by one without any studs on it in gray. These are used a couple times. We get the cheese wedge in gray and an extra Technic pig. And you can kind of consider the, you can't really consider the one by ones in um, loose pieces or extra pieces because they are supposed to be loose pieces. Uh, you do get more than 18 of them. I think you get... I forget how many, but I think it's a little bit more than 18. So you can throw the extra ones inside of the set. So let's get on to the set. We're going to start off with our guy with the wheelbarrow. And this wheelbarrow has all the pieces that we have extra in the set. Almost. And some of them might be in the drum. But it does fit a lot of them in this wheelbarrow, as we can see. Of course, it's a very simple build because it's mostly, you know, three pieces and whatever you store in here. So nice to get that with the cement mixer. So here we have the actual minifigure. Kind of a plain guy, but we haven't seen him too many times in this combination, so I'll consider him a not too standard uh, figure, but he does have some standard parts we've seen in the past before. And he does carry a shovel, no back printing on him. Next up, I will get to the other figure out of our cement mixer. So we'll, that's how you take off the roof. You just simply remove the top part. Don't worry about this piece. It's supposed to come off with it. No stickers on the top, surprisingly. Because usually they do have stickers. And here we have our driver for the cement mixer. You can make either one really a driver. Um, they both have kind of construction-related uniforms, pretty standard faces and 
hatware. So you could use these even in a construction area. And before we put them back in, we're going to show you the inside of the cab, which basically has room for one minifigure and one cup. Now I think there might be enough room for a second minifigure if you try, but it mainly is suited for one minifigure. That's the only one they show in the instructions as well as in the box art for the set. But I think if you try to squeeze one in there, you can almost get them in. You're going to have to lean him forward though, and he's kind of have to sit loose, because there is no actual studs for him. But you could try fitting a second figure and a shovel in there, see if we can put the cap on. Okay, so he does fit. So loosely, yes, he does spatially fit, um, but he is a, you know, loose figure, so I don't know if that's safe to drive with. He's going to need some place to sit. Now, we do have an interesting piece in the back, if you haven't seen this, um, I think it's a relatively new piece, new to me at least, in 2013, let's take the piece off by itself. This piece is used in some of the larger vehicles, some of the great vehicles have them, even in 2014 they have some of these, and it's just an easier way to make the back of the cabin, also provides a little bit of extra space, and on the sides you attach some pieces to just finish off the detail. So it makes it a little bit more roomier, so you can fit your hands in there, put, put the figures in, take the figures out, put in accessories and such. So I like that part. And it also makes the roof taking off easier, easier, so that you don't have too many studs to worry about. On both sides you do get these little rear view mirrors, which work very well. Uh, they don't actually reflect, of course, but they're still nice to have on a truck this size. It's a That's pretty appropriate um, windowing. Then you can see on the front we have some stickers, one across here for the vent and the little city logo. We have one for the license plate, and we have one also in the back for the license plate. We have one sticker over here that says Caution Electrics, so this is the electric part of it. If you need to fix it, I guess you would go through this section. We got one sticker on the back that shows the Caution, and we get two stickers for the drum and one sticker for the turning section. So let's talk about this. We've seen it all around now. And what are the kind of things we can do with it? Well, the first thing, surprisingly, is with the cabin. The cabin has a feature which can, uh, which they also, they also show you on the box. You can tilt this forward and on purpose, um, it's built this way so you can access the engine inside of there. Now I'm really not sure in actual models you know, real cars, trucks, whether or not they're cement mixers, if you can do that sort of function or, you know, have a need to in order to access the engine. But it is a nice little piece you can switch out in there for other pieces if you need to. You do need to move this a little bit. It's a little steady in there. You can see the piece. I'm going to have to move that back in. There we go. So it kind of sits in place, has a, the appearance of pistons on the side and and looks like an engine. You can kind of, if you're very careful with your fingers, you can take that out. Um, I myself am not doing it well. So, um, or maybe you take a few pieces off, you could try it that way too. Like we take this piece out. There we go. So if you need to fix the engine by itself and take it out of the system, you can do that. And it's a nice little mini build if you want to add this to your engines uh, for cars. It's a nice thing to do. Not something I would recommend though because I don't get this. I mean, I don't. Again, I don't know if this is an actual function for cars or trucks, uh, whatever their service is. If you, you know, need to access it that way. You also can open up the doors on both sides, so you can have realistic play that they're getting in and out of the cabin. You have this exhaust piece, which is nice, and it's only on the one side, even though you have room on the other side to use it. The other side is left open because you have this piece. This piece, when you turn it, it shows you you can turn it either way, 
but there's only one way to turn it in order for it to full out of the drum. So let me set up the pieces in here. We'll move this over so we can access the drum. We'll pour these in and get them all the way inside. This is actually made up of two pieces so and they're both symmetrical so it makes a spiral effect on the inside on the inside to um, to allow it to work. You can move this back piece, I mean you can, you can move this piece around as you saw. This basically just hits off um, so that they can fall down the slide and you can move this in all directions. Oops, in a piece fall. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set it up like they show in the picture and we'll turn this around a couple times and you can see the pieces falling through. And I still hear some more. Now some of them have falling out different directions, um, but most of them have been landing in the right way on the slide. So it's very nice. I think there were a couple extras in there. Yeah, there's a few more. Now. What I find weird about this is how they show the sticker moving it in two directions. I understand that it has playability to do that, but it might be confusing for somebody who's playing with this to figure out which way does it go in order for it to, you know, move the pieces out of the drum. And there really is no, um, you know, indication of that except for just watching it and seeing if they fall out. So, just hold it steady. But just so you know, turn it counterclockwise. Seems to be staying in here. Let's try turning it clockwise. And it'll fall out. So clockwise to, to make the pieces fall out. Counterclockwise to make the pieces stay in. And have that effect. Because, you know, when a cement truck is driving, you've seen it a couple times. Uh, they do have the wheel turning just to churn up all the concrete. Um, if you do need this to actually drive on the road, you wouldn't have the slide out here. You'd probably have it on the side or like this so that it's more portable and not in the way of anyone's cars. So overall, at the $20 set, this is not too bad. Um, very good for the price per piece. It's got some good functions with it. A little bit strange functions. I don't... Again, let me know in the comments if that's if that's something that actually happens with engines, you know, if they have to open up the cab in order to, that keeps falling out, in order to get to it. But I do like the idea of the, of the factor, and I also like how just they designed that front. Um, lots of extra pieces, much of an improvement on the older cement truck, but if you want to hear my comparison to that, check out the comparison video. I'll put a link in the description for it if you haven't seen it already. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time with more LEGO Set Reviews.